When we say the male don't know what they want, we are saying the truth. It was ju just the other day when the male, the tabloids, were saying Harry and Meghan are getting divorced and that Harry is going back to the UK alone. They were the same people creating the whole divorce issue by themselves. They are the same people who are crying out loud. They want Harry back in their homeland. They are the same people who are saying they want Harry back in the UK. Here we go. The mail writes, King Charles must banish Prince Harry and make him a private citizen. Where on earth is that going to happen? They are now the ones, they, they, are, they are now the so-called advisors to the king. They are now trying to be the ones telling the king what to do and what not to do. We said it from the beginning, ever since Harry came out clean and said so well that he is going to sue the Mira group. Those people are scared. Those people have been shivering, I know, all along. They know that Harry scares has a lot of evidence and that when justice takes plus majority of them will be facing the consequences of the things that they've been doing all along behind the bars. And that's why each and every single day we wake up, there is something new popping out from the tablet, something new popping out from the Daily Mail, something new popping out from the Sunday Mirror. These people can't stop their obsession over Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. These are people who decided to live their life, but it is evident to us that the Mirror Group, the tabloids, the so-called news writers still don't know what they want. That's what I can say. Allow me to read you an article written by Kezia. It goes ahead and says, In Prince Harry's statement to the court, in his lawsuit against Mira Group newspapers, Harry blasted the collision between British media and the British government and argued that, and I quote, our country is judged globally by the state of our press and our government, both in which I believe are at rock bottom. Democracy fails when your press fails to scrutinize and hold the government accountable and instead choose to get into bed with them to that they can ensure the status quo. That's what was said. He's right. Personally, I feel Harry is totally right. There's no way people can be led by the press. There is something that every country has, and that is democracy. And people are led by democracy, not by what the government says, not by what the tabloids or the press bring about to people as their daily news. There are certain things that need to be put into consideration, most especially with what the tabloids are doing, most especially with what the press, the British media at large, is doing. That was so, so, so unfortunate. This isn't simply a current problem either. The British media's largely hard right, a grip probe, has led to shit like Brexit. The brief like Turner of Lee's trash. The, the catastrophe of Bruce Johnson and the British media's largely unchecked mass blackmail schemes. It's hilarious to watch the Daily Mail fascinate commentary of Harry's testimony though. They knew he was talking about them. The males Stephen wrote a huge column about how Harry needs to be banished for making such political statements. I know and I know majority of us know very well that whatever Harry said in court was 
genuinely and sincerely and automatically true. There is nothing offensive in anything that he said. There is nothing offensive in anything that Harry uttered. Everything that he said was true and we all can see this. It's just that the male have nothing better to do. And they pick the less things that people would want to hear, make it look complicated. That's what the mirror, that's what the tabloids, that's what the press are better in doing. And that's what they know to do best. And it is really, really unfortunate to them. The article continues. Glover can't even decide what upsets him more. The idea that Harry is free to come back to London to testify in open court or that Harry will fly back to California after doing so. The threat there, here, is the only one they have left, which is if Harry won't behave the way we like. King Charles must cut him out of the royal family entirely, strip him over his titles and banish him from the UK. From where I'm sitting, Charles has already done all that, minus the titles, which we would take an act of minus the titles. The parliament, I think the whole thing, we know very well that Harry dropped out all the royal duties. He has nothing. So I wonder what they're trying to say that Prince Charles or King Charles should withdraw from Prince Harry. Charles already evicted Harry from Frogmore Cottage. Charles already stripped the security, the Sussex of their security. Charles already banished the Sussexes. So all that's left are these flammable threats from people who don't understand that they have nothing left to hold over Harry's head. He's already free. He's been free for years now. First, they took away their security. They evicted them from their Frogmore house. Apart from Harry and Meghan having left aside the royal duties, we know very well that Harry and Meghan have nothing more awaiting them back in the UK, neither in the royal family. I fail to understand why is it that the tablets don't understand. There is nothing that Harry has to lose. He's fighting for his own generation. This is something that happened to the mother and no one took a step. When Harry and Meghan were still in the UK, when the paparazzis, the tablets, the press were all over them, the royal had the mandate, the royal had the opportunity, the chance, and they were so much powerful to stop that. But what did they do? They settled and did nothing. So we expect nothing from them. It's not that Harry and Meghan can't manage themselves at the moment. We know very well at the moment they have a mansion back in California, a very good and beautiful house in a very clean and an untoxic environment, an environment where they are free in personal space. We know very well that Harry and Meghan at the moment can acquire their own security, security whom they can entrust. Security that they pay by their own money. We know very well Harry and Meghan no longer depend on royal funding. Majority of the royalties depend on taxpayers' money. That's what majority of them are surviving from. We know very well Harry and Meghan took a step ahead in that they are free and have nothing to lose. Whatever decision Harry made, whatever choice he made, the fact that he decided to take a step as a man and so brave and proud and I know amazing person, he is free and he did all that for his own coming generation, for his own generation. He doesn't want whatever happened to him to happen to Prince Archie or a Princess Lilibet Diana. And that's why he's fighting so hard for a loyal and honesty journalism. All he wants is fairness. All Harry wants is the best for everyone. And that's what he's fighting so hard for. Nothing for his own gain. Nothing for his own benefit. 
Harry and Meghan are so much amazing people. I love and adore them so much in each and everything that they do. They are doing. I'm so much obsessed and I love, I love, I love Harry and Meghan. The tabloids, the UK media, the press, the mirror group, the, me the UK media at large need to stop the obsession over Harry and Meghan. They need to stop and look for something better. They need to let Harry and Meghan be. Instead of them focusing on better things to do, all they think about is always on how they are going to be able to tarnish Harry and Meghan's name. Each and every day we wake up, each and every new day, it's always a new news about the male having created something negative, something hurtful about Harry and Meghan. Yet we know very well Harry and Meghan have nothing to do about with their business. They need to stop and look out for something better to be able to strategize and start making some better news for the UK people rather than considering or focusing on the people who are living their best life at the moment. God bless Harry and Meghan and all the best in their daily endeavors. That was our today's podcast. See you next time, guys. Bye.